jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. <laughs> All right, well, hello, happy holidays, and thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Sierra Payton, and this is my YouTube channel, a place where I talk all about my lifestyle and experience of being an actress, entrepreneur, and educator, in hopes to help you along your creative journey. Now, if you're new here, just go ahead and stop right now. Just stop, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button right now because you're gonna love everything that I'm sharing here on this channel and I've created it for you. So why don't you go ahead and do yourself a favor and just do that, go ahead. And if you have been here for a while, thank you so much for rocking it out with me. I hope you are finding some value in the videos that I'm sharing. And like I always say in most of my videos, please feel free to leave a comment or a question down below and I would love to answer them or you know create content around you know what you want to see well today like I said happy holidays I feel that it is only right that I create a video that's all about holiday gift giving to industry contacts hmm I don't know have you thought about this or, or are you thinking about it look bottom line is is that you know as creatives as actors you know even influencers you want to you know give a little something or, or, you know, give a little gift here and there to your, you know, agent or managers or casting directors or publicists, you know, to kind of show them a little token of appreciation for how hard they worked for you over the years. But there is a certain way to do it. And so I decided to create this video to help you kind of navigate that and just think about what type of gifts you're giving and, you know, what they say about you or what they don't say. All right. So this is a list of do's and don'ts and gifts suggestions and so let's just dive right on into it so i would say number one a big 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 don't is do not buy anything that is going to be big oversized take up too much space you know it's just it's too much is specifically related to a story that i heard that was told to me by an agent that they had a client that gifted them a huge stuffed animal which was like the size of a human for christmas they literally showed up with this big <laughs> stuffed animal and was like merry christmas and the agent was like you know the client was super sweet very talented but they were like i have no place to put this and this was you know an office in new york and so it wasn't a lot of space, you know, to put something, you know, that huge in. So I would say do not, you know, if you can help it. And I know we all have such good intentions, but don't give your agents and managers or casting directors or directors or producers you've worked with anything that's just big and oversized. Just don't. I would totally stay clear of that if you can. All right. Number two, do not gift them anything with glitter. <laughs> Think about it, glitter gets everywhere. It can just, you know, travel with you across countries, wherever. And so you just don't wanna do that. I've had a casting director tell me before for a Christmas present, they got something from an actor and like when they opened up the gift, just glitter just fell out everywhere and it was all over their desk and everything. And you know, that's definitely an extreme case, but I would say definitely steer clear of big stuffed animals and anything that is just filled and full with glitter like just just bypass it just you don't want to do it number three i would say hold the home baked goods and cookies and treats and you know or the stuff that you got from your favorite bakery or you know whatever because here's the deal everybody's thinking about buying those types of things or gifting those types of things to you know their team and you know to the office of the you know agents and managers and casting directors and it's really sweet and people do you know like eating sweet but you know you're also in a business where people are usually tend to be a little more health conscious and you know gifting them large amounts of things that have a lot of sugar or baked goods or whatever you know it's just not the ideal gift and sometimes too you know well oftentimes I would say a lot of actors like to you know bake something like some homemade fudge or homemade cupcakes and bring them in and stuff and you know sometimes those things aren't always as sanitary <laughs> as you know, you would hope if, if you bought it from a bakery or whatnot. Not saying that, you know, people don't know how to keep a, a, a baking station clean or whatever, but it's just one of those things where it's like, I know the thought counts for sure and, you know, a lot of heart is there, but for the most part, those things end up in the trash anyway. And also think about the fact that, you know, oftentimes during the holidays, they're having a lot of office parties or going to different parties and stuff. So everybody's getting their nice fill of, you know, the holiday cookies and cupcakes and fudge and stuff like that. And so I would say just hold off on that because, you know, a lot 
lot of offices don't like that. They don't, you know, want to have a lot of sweets and stuff, you know, because they're trying to, you know, be a little more health conscious and everything. So I would say definitely hold off on the homemade baked goods or even the cake or whatever that you picked up from the bakery. Just hold off on it and we'll get into what you can do instead. All right. With that being said, number four, I would say hold off on the liquor and the alcohol. And here's why. I've made this mistake before. Again, we're in an industry where people are being health conscious and also, you know, some people don't drink, you know? And so you may go out and be like, man, I wanna get this beautiful, you know, big bottle of wine, this really expensive champagne or whatever. I wanna bring it over there. Nine times out of 10, you know, a lot of other actors, a lot of other clients are thinking the same exact way. So they're bringing all this like liquor, wine and alcohol and it just ends up, you know, stockpiling at your agents or manager's office. And you know, it's just like, it's a lot, you know? And other times too, you know, like I said, some people don't drink. And so, you know, you just wanna be a little mindful of where people are along their journeys and, you know, kind of bringing in something that, you know, they're no longer partaking in can just be a little awkward. And like I said, I've done this before. I, you know, there's a bottle of wine that I used to love and thought that, oh, it'd be a perfect gift because it's, you know, nice and really, um, it's just like a nice, really expensive wine. And I wanted to give someone that and you know the person that I gifted it to was like you know really really grateful for it but you know they let me know like hey I don't drink you know and so they were telling me how they you know have been sober for X amount of years and you know I actually I felt really bad about that and so you know it just was one of those moments where it was a teachable moment and here I am teaching it with you and sharing it with you it's just people are in different places along their journey and you know you want to be respectful and mindful of that you know as it comes to alcohol and also certain foods or sweets or whatever and so I just say, you know, to play it safe, just steer clear of alcohol, steer clear of, you know, the sugar and the sweets. All right, so those are my four don'ts, you know. Obviously, I do think that, you know, there's some things that, yeah, you want to give and you may not be sure about. And so I always think that sending a little email, you know, asking the assistant or someone that works in the office, you know, hey, what does so-and-so think about this or is so-and-so into this is always helpful you know I mean obviously I think the it's always a thought that counts and I don't think a lot of people in the business are expecting gifts or expecting presents or anything but I do think if you want to do something special you can you know always just ask so you can get a little more informed before <laughs> walking up into an office with a big stuffed animal you know all right so here are my gift suggestions and again these are just my opinions the, there are no hard fast rules with anything in the business at all but this is just from my you know experience and my opinion what i think makes good gifts for the holidays all right so rule of thumb i try to think really minimalistic okay i try to think you know kind of small things you know virtual things things that don't take up a lot of space but also things that have meaning to them my number one gift idea that i like to give every year is making a donation to a charity in the office's name or you know your agent or your manager's name you know oftentimes you know people do want to do good and they're really busy and they're not you know necessarily thinking about making a donation or volunteering or you know all of those types of things and so i think you know definitely making a nice donation in the name of the company or in the name of you know a specific person in the office or whatever you know is always something really really nice and it doesn't have to be extraordinary or you know it doesn't have to be thousands and thousands of dollars or you know if you can afford it cool that's awesome but um it can always just be you know something thoughtful something that is well within your budget Budget. and you know you can always either get a like a card you know with the receipt or you know with the the thank you page from the website after you've made the donation you could take a little screenshot and put that in a little card with a nice little message and you know send that over to the office or you can send it in an email and let them know but I always think donating in someone's name is always really nice and thoughtful and a bonus tip for you is if they are really you know active and speaking about certain causes or certain charities that they support you know you can go ahead and support that specific cause or that specific charity and you know let them know that hey I made a donation in your name so the next thing that I, you know, recommend as a gift is something like a redeemable movie or play 
ticket pass. There's like some movie theaters in LA that I know of. You can buy like a, like it's kind of like a gift certificate, but you know, it's like a movie ticket where it could be, you know, redeemable, you know, down the line, or you can transfer it, or, you know, it doesn't expire. Whatever it is that you get in that arena, I always just try to find things that, you know, don't expire. Because again, people are really busy in the business. And so, you know, if you buy like a, like a play ticket or a movie ticket, it or something and it's non uh, transferable or you know they can't redeem it for something else you know nine times out of ten they're not gonna be able to make it because a lot of times they're working or they're really busy or it's pilot season and they can't you know go and check out that thing and so they might miss it but if you could get something that can be again redeemable for something else or doesn't expire that would be awesome you know and I, I definitely think you know doing something that's like maybe some tickets or some type of gift certificate or gift ticket um, to a a playhouse that has you know plays running all season or whatever I think that stuff is really cool because agents and managers and casting directors and you know directors and producers they are you know looking for talent for different things and so you know I think it'd be cool to allow them to have you know a free you know gift pass to something like that so they can go and not only enjoy a show but possibly find some new talent as well you know my next thing is I love gifting this to my team they love it they are always like super excited whenever I do this for them I love giving them uber eats gift cards uber eats or doordash or whatever you know food delivery service because think about it especially during pilot season and I will do a whole video about what pilot season is you know they are working around the clock you know submitting actors and clients and stuff for all kinds of different projects and you know sometimes the work day can be really really long and draining and exhausting and what better than to be able to have you know a nice uber eats gift certificate to you know deliver a meal to the office or you know to your home office or whatever while you're working and so I just love gifting that to them and what I usually do is I'll buy it online and you know take like a nice little screenshot of it and make sure it's enough for everybody in the office um, my my agents you know they're in a smaller office so it's not like I'm buying it for a hundred people because that is a lot but you know I try to buy enough for everyone in the office because it's a team of five people and yeah you know and I, I you know put that in a nice little card or I put it in an email sometimes and just let them know like hey thank you so much for all your hard work I hope that this helps you know during pilot season or you know sometimes throughout the year and uh, and they love it every time they see it they're like yeah thank you so much Sierra so I believe that that's always a nice you know little gift to give and again it can be used in so many different ways you know it doesn't always have to be just at the office you know maybe someone can use it uh, for a business meal meeting at home or whatever you know who knows but anyway those are things that I like to kind of give all right so my fourth gift suggestion idea is something that's meaningful and special again nothing that's huge or big that is going to take up a lot of space but something that is just meaningful and special I think a lot about um, a friend of mine was telling me about how a co-worker or whatever you know this is in the business they went on a trip to Peru and they found these like little trinkets to bring you know good luck or whatever and it was like this little like three-legged pig I'm sure somebody on here knows what that's about but they brought um, some of those back to the office and gifted it to some of the people you know because it was something that was you know sweet and meaningful to them and they wanted to you know bring that to them and people loved it you know it's just something that's small you know sometimes I like to gift like a little small stone or crystal that has some type of meaning to it you know one year I gifted uh, my manager a little stone I can't remember what kind it was I think it was fluorite and it had a meaning of you know prosperity or you know bringing in more business or whatever and one day they called me and they're like ever since I've gotten that stone like all of my clients have been booking like thank you so much you know and so it's just like little stuff like that you know to me I love stones and crystals and everything and so I love you know to be able to share little things that I love you know with people who you know I appreciate and so I think, you know, just little small things like that, you know, for a while I would gift, you know, my agent or my managers or, you know, even casting directors, these little like feng shui trinkets that were made of jade and, you know, you can hang it up in your car, put it on your keychain, you know, stuff like that. Um, but 
again, it's just something that's tiny, something that you wouldn't mind if they threw away or regifted or whatever, you know, like, so it's just always, again, the thought that counts, right? So my next gift idea is something I would say kind of tread a little lightly on, but it can still be a little cool, I think. <laughs> So again, you wanna probably check with the office and ask questions before you do this, but this is something that I love and I feel like a lot of people love as well. But if not, don't come for me, please. So you see that? So my next gift idea, I would say to tread a little bit lightly with, but it could be an awesome gift idea for your reps and industry contacts. So what I like to do is candles. And candles are definitely a great gift, especially if they're small and compact. I would say this one is probably a little too big, but you know, it's also a good size as well. But I don't like getting anything that's too strong, that's gonna, you know, really just carry scent all throughout the place. You wanna get something that has a subtle scent to it and not, you know, overbearing. And so, you know, something like a um, light vanilla scent or something like that, I think is great. And the bonus thing that I like to do is too, with these coffee mug warmers, is put them on timers. Time it to, you know, go off at certain times of the day and go off at certain times of the day. Yeah, you got a nice little little candle there. So I think it's always a nice little gift to give. But again, tread lightly, you know, reach out to the assistant or whatever and just ask questions, you know, because they may not want something like this to sit on their desk or sit in the office. And so, you know, just ask questions, you know, or buy it for yourself. I, I highly recommend it. All right, so this is my second to last one. And basically what this is, like I was talking about with the sweets and everything earlier to kind of make up for that if you wanna give something that's, you know, edible, is, you know, a nice piece of gourmet dark chocolate, like a gourmet dark chocolate bar or, you know, a little truffle type of thing, but nothing too big, nothing too overbearing. I think just something that's probably like, you know, the size of that or whatever with a nice card or whatever is great. Again, I'm always all about something that has some type of meaning behind it something that you probably personally enjoy you know what's coming to mind is you know earlier this year I went to Portugal and I experienced you know this amazing just ah oh, delicious incredible Portuguese chocolate and you know it was organic and you know it was just made with these like fine ingredients and didn't have a lot of sugar in it and I just thought that they were perfect and so I bought a few of those and those are gonna be for uh, gifts for my reps. And it's something that they don't have to eat during the holidays. You know, chocolate can kind of stay, you know, for a really long time. So it's not like anything that they have to throw away. But I think that's something that's just small, you know, compact would be great. You get truffles, I would say like maybe not a full box of truffles or full box of chocolate, you know, but just something that's just like small, like maybe one or two truffles or whatever, you know, and just something that has a lot of meaning. I know that there's so much, you know, mass produced uh, chocolate gift ideas throughout, you know, the holiday season, but if you can find something that's unique and meaningful and, and just has some type of, you know, sentimental value or meaningful value to you for them, I think that that is something that would be super, super just sweet to give, you know, literally and figuratively. All right, so my very, very last gift idea is sending a nice, thoughtful email. You know, we do want to go out and we want to shop and, you know, buy these little gifts and trinkets and, you know, do all these things to, you know, profess all of our gratitude and holiday cheer and everything. But I believe that a nice holiday email just suffices. And it doesn't have to be, you know, one of those e-cards, which, you know, work great, but I feel like a lot of people get those every year. I'm talking about a nice holiday email that's really thoughtful, that's like, hey, you know, thank you so much for looking out for me over the year. I really appreciate how hard you work. You know, we got really close on that one thing, that one job, you know, but it, you know, it didn't work out, but hey, you know, I'm looking forward to what's coming up in the, the new year. And I know that something good is coming along the way, you know, just stuff like that. That's just really, really thoughtful. And it's like, hey, I recognize you. I recognize the work that you're doing. You know, thank you so much for looking out for me. And then you can just add a nice holiday photo. I love to do a Google search of like the 
top you know holiday photos or the most you know touching or beautiful holiday photos and you know add that to the email with a really beautiful thoughtful message and you don't have to write a novel you don't have to write a full essay or anything like that but just again like I said something that's letting them know that you appreciate them and you recognize all the hard work that they've done over the year and that you know you're wishing wishing them all all the best for the new year so that for me is my wrap up see see what i did there a little pun there for the industry holiday gift guide now again i just have to reiterate people are working long hours they're working hard in the hollywood entertainment industry so whenever you're thinking about giving them a gift you don't want to give them anything that's going to take up a lot of space or create a lot of clutter or that's just going to put you in an awkward position or put them in an awkward situation you know in terms of what i said earlier about you know the alcohol or even the sugar you want to just give something that's just a little thoughtful a little meaningful and you know just letting them know that you appreciate them well i hope you found that helpful and if you did please go ahead and leave a comment down below and make sure you like this video and again i love getting feedback i love getting questions and so make sure you leave a comment below if you have any questions or anything that you want me to share about or talk about i love being able to create content around the things that you want to see so be sure to leave that down below well i am looking forward to seeing you at the next video but until then have a wonderful and safe holiday season and I will be sure to see you soon. All right, take care. Bye.